Hello and welcome to Light Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Through Night TC15 version 3. This is an everyday carry, high output, 18650 powered flashlight. It's a rather premium light. You'll see these on Amazon retailing for around $59.99. They had a $10 off coupon on this one, bringing it down to $49.99. Does it represent a good value? Well, let's find out. Let's check this out here. Through night, guiding you through the night. Simple brown box. A little illustration of the flashlight, version 3. TC15 is a very popular model, so definitely worthy of a try. This is in cool white. They did not have a neutral white available at the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. And inside we get a bunch of stuff, so inside the box lid empty, some paperwork which we'll go over, the flashlight, always got to check this out right away, and it's a little bag, awesome, loving the build quality, I love the metal switch there, yeah, we'll go over this, definitely here. So let's get these little things out of the way, comes a little foam insert, down the bottom we get a lanyard, Looks like a replacement under the switch hardware and some O-rings. Yeah, maybe two O-rings. Nice. Liking that. Next, we get a charging cable. I think this is Type-C to USB. Yeah, my favorite. I really like the Type-C. I don't know about you guys. A lot of you guys like the micro USB still because our radios still use it. But uh, we're seeing a trend towards Type-C in the rechargeable radios now too. So I like it. Uh, next, yeah, this was nice to see. Is a little pocket holster, yeah, and belt, and even has a hook. Oh, nice. I haven't had this one out yet. I like this. Expandable there. Okay, very cool. Very handy. All right. And then, uh, don't eat the gel. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I think uh, we'll go to paperwork real quick. Let's see, this little guy here is, um, okay, yeah, please screw down the light head tail cap tightly before use. That makes some sense. And for those who can read that, da da. Okay. <laughs> Our English instructions and a bunch of other languages in this pamphlet. Um, okay, let's just open this up to the English part. Just gonna quickly go over that. We have posterity for you guys. Just flip this over here so we get this on camera. So there's the illustration of the flashlight. They have it laid out, kind of a large graph. Hopefully the camera can pick this up because it's hard to bring up to the camera. But you can see it's got some specs, which we'll go over there. Uh, the uh, lighting, the turbo, high, medium, low, firefly, strobe. It's claimed to fame as 2,403 lumens. Boom. For two minutes. Yeah. You know, it's two minutes. It's I guess it's good if you just see something real quick. Um, so, yeah. Then down here, you got your uh, indicator. It has a little LED, of course, for power. Showing you blue, going to red, going to flashing red. So if it's flashing red... Time to hook it up to the charger. It's showing you the voltages it's running down to. Here's operation. It's a very basic setup. Lock, unlock. It's got uh, turning on and off, changing modes, shortcuts to Firefly, all the fun stuff. Again, I'll be demoing that for you. Memory function, nice. It doesn't remember Firefly, Turbo, or Strobe, but it remembers the main modes. Useful enough for me. Okay, done with that. Let's get to the flashlight. Here it is, the Through Night TC15 version 3. Zooming on down, let's do our dimensions. So we have a length of almost five inches, four and seven eighths of an inch, or 124 millimeters. We have a head diameter of one inch or 25 millimeters. So very pocket friendly, very easy to carry. Um, just like that because the head diameter is the same as the body diameter. Um, I've been reviewing some 21700 flashlights and they have it where, you know, of course, they have a one inch body, but then the head's larger to accommodate the the bigger LED they're using, but yeah, nice. Like in this fit, like in this clip here, hat and belt, beautiful. So yeah, let's do a little size comparison. Bring this back up here. All right, I'm not gonna have to go that high, but yeah, so I have some competitors. Uh, there's, this is a crowded marketplace and doesn't stand out for the money. I mean, 50 bucks is a premium, um, though a lot of people will spend well over $100 for the radio. Um, just putting things in perspective, <laughs> it's good to have it. Now we're going to explain why a D808 is a good companion to this light. 
but there are great competitors on the market. So we have the Workos FC11, comes in around 30 bucks. A great little flashlight, uh, 1300 lumen turbo, uh, down to a two lumen Firefly mode. Um, neat little setup. Again, I like it. Um, this one here, the Sofern SC31 Pro, uh, this a lot of people love. I love this light. It does so much uh, for the price. It's amazing. There's even a mode where I think if you tap it a bunch of times, it'll flash out the voltage of the battery. <laughs> Amazing. Um, this one's unique because it has a ramping mode, and it goes from 2,000 lumens down to 1 lumen. And this runs about 37 bucks. So yeah, uh, you know, pretty good. This is a 49 with the coupon, and this is almost 40 without a coupon. So something to think about, uh, again. They do have the rubber switches. I do like the metal switch better. Uh, that's just personal preference. Okay, uh, we have 18650, we have a double A battery, so this 18650 is a flat top, and then for a, a bigger, I, you know, this is the 18650 protected button top, just to show you it is slightly longer, and that's what this runs on, is an 18650 protected button top. Now you can run it on a flat top, uh, but for charging purposes I would use a protected battery just for safety. Uh, but it will run on this if you charge this independently. So, yeah, there you are. So let's go over features of the TC15 version 3. Going to the front, uh, we have a toughened glass lens with anti-reflective coating. You can kind of see that purplish hue to it. When the light's on, I don't notice it. Uh, so inside there, we got orange peel reflector. Our LED is the Cree XHP 35.2 in cool white, as you notice on the box. Uh, producing that 2,403 lumens. It's pretty amazing. So the body is all aluminum construction, 6061 aerocraft grade, aerospace grade. Nice. With a Type 3 hard anodized finish. We have our charging jack here. Um, you see that Type C? Pretty basic. Red when charging. A little light comes on here. And it's blue when finished. And while you're charging it, the low mode is usable. So let me see if I can get that to fit. There you go. Now this is IPX8 waterproof with that little jacket in place. Just gotta make sure that's fully seated. There we are. Um, yeah. So I got this belt clip, which I really like, um, and it's also a hat clip too, which is, yeah, wait, it's yeah, hat like this and belt like that, of course. <laughs> I'm looking at it like reversed. It'd be neat if it had another spot for it. we could spin it around, but I think that's will work. Yeah. I haven't tried it on a hat. It's a rather large light for a hat, mainly for belt. So it's just interesting that they used to set up like that. Um, using the holster probably be the best way for carrying it every day. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, so the switch there, you see, it's uh, it's metal, which I like. It's got an LED underneath there. Okay, turn it on to high. Remembered high in my last setting. Press hold, change the modes. Okay, we'll put it back on low, but that shows our, our good voltage there. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, flat bottom. Nice for tail standing, and it's not magnetic, okay? If you want a magnetic base, you get yourself the Workos FC11 has the magnet base. If you don't want magnet base and you want the Pro, it does not have a magnet base. So, again, things to think about when you're shopping for these flashlights. Yeah, I like the Sofern. Sofern's a good little label. Through night, though, definitely built. I like it. All right, so... Uh, on the bottom also, tail standing is nice. It has a spot for your lanyard right there, flush. So if you have the cord attached, you can still tail stand it with it hanging out there. Beautiful. Uh, we'll talk about waterproof, drop resistant, 1.5 meter. Whoa, tush. I hate dropping my flashlights because I hate dinging them up. But I've seen some pretty battle-worn <laughs> versions out there in my day. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's going to happen. So uh, you saw the battery. It's in the inside there. It's this guy. It's a 3,100 milliamp hour. I have an extra one. Protected button top cell. Um, works really well. It, I checked this out, and it uh, is what it's advertised. Nice. High discharge performance lithium ion battery. Nice. So that's what that is in button top. The reason why I bring this to your attention is that we like to use these flashlights with our radios, like here. And this battery fits in this radio, this D808, uh, which is awesome. A little tight, but it does fit. Uh, protected cells will fit in here and heck you get a flashlight with this battery already a 3100 and you can cross use them if you need power for your flashlight take the battery out of the radio if you need power for your radio take it out of the flashlight that's just a neat setup to be able to do that 
And of course you can use this flashlight with the radio at night, which we're going to demo in a little bit. And this flashlight produces no RFI, radio frequency, radio frequency interference on any of the bands, which is great on any modes. So even the turbo all the way down to the moonlight, a firefly mode, it does not have any RFI. People like to know that, so there you go. I'll keep that handy. Take a cards for another size comparison. Boom, yeah, liking that. So, yep, modes again. So firefly, press and hold. Now we're in firefly mode. Yeah, it's pretty dim. Yeah, one lumen, beautiful. And then uh, click and hold, and it locks the flashlight out. So now I can't turn it on. If I press it, you'll see that it's just flashing red there. Uh, so if it's locked out, just press and hold. And it'll unlock it back to Firefly mode. And I recolor my screen. Okay. <laughs> uh, so triples, triple click is uh, strobe. So there you are. Okay. And of course, on to last mode. So we have our low, medium, high. And then double click brings us to turbo. Um, sometimes I've noticed that... Uh, it takes a few times for it to go on to turbo with my particular flashlight. There we go. Don't know why that is. Uh, so I asked their night about it and they say that they're the first batch. This is the first batch. And they say a second batch is already on its way. Um, so if your flashlight has a trouble entering turbo right away, let's so I can do that again. There we go. Um, uh, let me, you know, let them know and they'll ship you the second version, which is cool. Um, mine's okay. It's just a little finicky, you know. It's not instantly turbo, so sometimes I have to do it a couple times. It could be me going too fast or too slow. I haven't mastered it yet, too. That might be it as well. <laughs> um, and, of course, yeah, opening it up is a pretty simple affair. Um, show you the inside real quick, and then we'll go out to the garage for some pictures. Our battery, and then the wall thickness I like. Nice and thick. No thinness there. That's a beautiful thing. Well, when you're spending 50 bucks for a flashlight, you kind of want something premium. So that, that fits nicely. No struggling in that. All right, beautiful. So there it is, the turbo on and off from the on and off position, like in that. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead, go to the garage, look at some pictures. We'll do a quick little demo, and then we'll give you some final thoughts on the TC15 version 3. So well, here we are in the garage. It's on turbo. I'm 15 feet away from the garage door. This is 2,403 lumens, which is insane. It gets hot quickly, just to let you know. And, of course, when it gets hot quickly, it will throttle down after 2 minutes and 20 seconds and go down to 732 lumens for the remainder of the battery at 106 minutes. Yeah. Um, and expect 223 meter throw because it's kind of more of a floody light. Next picture, it's on high. This is 1,057 lumens. Again, this is adequate here. For some reason, the high only goes for an, uh, a minute and a half before it throttles down. And then it gives you 108 uh, minutes of runtime at 754 lumens. Kind of an interesting mix there versus the turbo mode. Next picture, we're on medium. This is 330 lumens. Expected to run about four and a half hours. Not a bad mode if you're walking with this light. Definitely a good mode for walking. I would use this and then use the a high when I needed to see something in distance. Or turbo, maybe. You know, it's one of those things where do I need high or do you need turbo? Something you have to ask yourself if you need it or not. And then next picture, we're on low. This is 34 lumens. Again, very useful, close quarters. And it'll run 50 hours. 50 hours is quite a long time at this level. And our last picture, it's pretty dim. This is the Firefly mode. It's one of my favorite modes on flashlights, uh, low power modes. Uh, this is one lumen, and it'll run up to 30 days, 3-0. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> I'm liking that a lot. So now we're going outside, see this flashlight in action, did a little short video. You'll see distances between 30 to 100 feet. Let's go check it out. Okay, outside with the Thrunite TC15 version 3. We're on turbo, 2,405 lumens. To give you an idea of the throw this light has. 30 feet down the archway. Tree behind there is about 35 feet, 40 feet, 35 feet to this tree. And then down back a ways there is a tree about 100 feet away. And there's our walkway here. Yeah, this thing's a beast when it's on turbo. Now we'll just take it down. We'll go to high. Here's high, 1,050 lumens, or technically 1,057. 
showing the same distances to give you an idea. Step it down to medium. Here's medium mode, 330 lumens. It's a good walking light at 330. I think the lowest bedding here is going to be 34 lumens, which isn't really much, but it's good for close quarters. Don't know if the camera's picking this up. Okay, there you go. All right, you got to see that turbo mode blazing away. Pretty awesome. So let's do a little demo here. Uh, we got the TC15 to the right hand side. I'm going to bring in the Workos FC11. I'm just going to put them on low settings, just so you get an idea of beam pattern and color temperature. Let's go ahead and turn these lights off. And turn these on. Not so high. Hold on a second. This one's press and hold. <laughs> there we go. You know, it's, it's getting used to these different modes. I love it. Uh, click. Okay, I think that's its lowest mode. That's pretty low. Okay, well, I'll have to use that. Hit a little light there showing its battery indicator. All right, so let's go ahead and get this light off. All right, so we're going to bring them in together. So the FC11, this guy here, has a warmer light to it and uh, is a little bit more spotty, I think. Maybe diffused. Let me just go up a mode with this one. Um, I think it's a click. There we go. So right now with this, I am at, um, this I think is it's 50 lumen setting. Yeah, I went from two to 50. And of course over here I am at, uh, this is 34 lumens. That's why it was a difference. Okay. I was wondering why the difference and yeah, now this is more a balance here. So you can see definitely more diffused on the right here like in that warmer light on my left. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, turn that one off. We'll go to the sofa room. This one's awesome because it ramps. So I can ramp it to match the brightness. There we go. Again, hot spot. Has a more uh, warmer light to it. Definitely a warmer light. So yeah, you got the thousand to, sorry, 2000 to one lumen ramping mode, which I like. It's nice and smooth, but there you go. Gives you an idea. All right. Yeah, just for demonstrations, get an idea what these do. All right. So with this guy here, we'll go through the modes. I'm going to aim at the ceiling. So we'll just cycle through them. So we're low, medium, high. So low is 34 lumens, medium 330 lumens, high uh, 1057, and then turbo is 2403 lumens. Awesome. Nice and bright. Holy cow. Blazing. <laughs> Loving that. And now we'll go down to Firefly. Firefly mode's great for our radio listening. So we would take our, our radio out here. And we can see all the keys real nicely. And we have 30 days of this. This is fantastic. Turn our radio on. We can see all the keys, no problem. Read everything. That's a thing of beauty. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and turn our lights back on. Do some final thoughts on the TC15 version 3. Yes. Is it for you? Is it for me? Let's think about that. So let me go ahead and turn that off. Okay. Bring our color back in. I'm your man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves through nights from wherever land. Probably from China. But that's cool. All right. So the through night. I'm going to bring it on down. Downtown. So. Is this a buy at 49 bucks? Yeah, it's a buy at $49. The reason why I say that, think about it. This battery costs about um, 10 to $15 where you purchase a protected button top 3100. Um, and then you have to pay shipping. And then shipping on these things is incredibly expensive, as you guys may know. Um, so if you need a protected button top, you're already getting it with this flashlight. So think of the flashlight being around $35 flashlight, and then you got a $15 battery. That's how I'm looking at it like. Not a bad value. So, but something to think about. Uh, I like the quality of this battery too. Nice. Um, I have an extra one, of course, because of that. <laughs> um, you know, and when you're looking at other flashlights, like you want a magnetic base, well, think get yourself the Workos FC11. It's simple modes. If you don't need that 2400 lumen blasting brightness, this will work for you. 
If you want a complicated light, <laughs> you get this one here. You'll forget the modes the next day you use it. I've already forgotten most of the modes, but it has so much to it, like to remember with the UI. So you just don't want to hand this to somebody and be like, here you go. But I think there is a mode, a muggle mode, <laughs> they call it, where you can hand it to somebody and it only does simple modes. Um, just an idea. I actually think that's kind of funny, but they have that. They do have that way of setting it. Um, this is fun for the money, you know, under 40 bucks. I've reviewed this. I'll review videos for both of these flashlights and, of course, you know, that one. But out of the ones I'd pick, I mean, for premium, the through night does stand out. I mean, I do like the fact that the recessed metal button. I do like the included holster. The included, included stuff's nice. The Type-C rechargeable port's nice. These are rechargeable, but they have micro USB. Um, the newer models hopefully will come with Type-C. Uh, but right now, yeah, Type-C is right here. The tail stands beautifully. And I like the beam pattern quite a bit on this one. Just uh, And, of course, the 2400 lumen turbo blows these out of the water. Even with the 2000 um, lumen ramping mode here. I didn't even want to try it. Because when you do this turbo versus this turbo, there, this one definitely stands out. You can see a difference. So there you are. All right, so the TC 15 version 3 gets a recommended buy all day long for me. It does. 50 bucks, not bad. Uh, $59, and eh, maybe wait for a sale or a coupon if there's any of that stuff happening. I'll have links below. Uh, definitely check them out. If you like Through Night and you want to see more of their flashlights, uh, I've been picking them up because I like them. I like them. I like the Sofern brand. You'll see me buying Sofern when I can. Uh, some of the newer ones I've been picking up, like Army Tech and some of the other brands I like as well, um, that I'm also picking up. I need to pick up some Night Cores and through, uh, what do you call it? Not, yeah, through Night, Night Core and Phoenix, because those two lights uh, are relatively premium. People want those as well. I'll compare them to this light in uh, future videos. So check it out. Subscribe, bell icon, get notified. And three, comment below what you think about the Through Night TC15 version three. You own a TC15 because the TC15, I think, was only 2300 lumens. Not much of a difference. You're not going to see probably a difference between 2300 and 2405 or 2403, excuse me. So if you're looking for seeing a difference, probably won't be there. Um, they probably operate similarly, but this has a type C, I believe, while the other ones don't. So get that little bonus. So let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, take care and we'll see you, you, not you, in my next video.